In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the app functionality of Sequily to open various applications such as remote desktop and test applications which you cannot handle directly. I have created a new channel on YouTube. It is called Test Automation TV. Please subscribe it. I am sure it is going to help you and me become a better test automation professional. And if your response is strong, I am going to consider publishing more than one videos on the channel. LinkedIn has a restriction of 10 minute long video. I am going to post even longer videos on YouTube if you guys subscribe. So let's become better professionals. Let's earn more money. Let's have more job satisfaction. Subscribe to my channel Test Automation TV. So first of all, if we want to launch MSTSC, how we are going to do it? I can say app.open and then simply I can provide double quotes MSTSC over here. Save the script and click run. Here you see the remote desktop is open. So the point being is that sometimes we are testing applications which are running through Citrix app streaming and the applications uh, we don't have a direct handle for those applications so traditional automation testing tools like microsoft's coded ui would fail in such scenarios because i have seen scenarios where we have a remote desktop which we are opening and we don't have a handle on the applications inside that remote desktop for those scenarios we can definitely utilize this functionality so there is another thing that sometimes we have a very old application which we just cannot modify maybe it was written before dotnet so there are many examples of such applications in credit card industry in mortgage industry so for example i have a simple application which is a dummy application which i created earlier today so for today's uh, demo, I don't have uh, a remote desktop available. So that's why I have copied this application locally. Hope so sometime in future I will have uh, the remote desktop available for you. So first of all, I am going to open this application just like this. I will put the path of the application over here. I will save and I will click run. Okay, so the application is up now. You can see. The point is that we have this letter R written right before the path. I don't know why it is here. Uh, maybe some Python expert could tell us. And then after this, I what I want to do is I want to make sure that this application has launched or not. So for that, I am simply going to bring in the wait over here. I'll click wait. And then I'm going to make sure that this thing is here. It is showing wait for this let's suppose only one second save and then what then I want to click on the state and I want to type some text Now if I click on this image, it is going to open the pattern settings. This is basically a pattern which Sequel is trying to match. So now it is showing me the red highlighted area on the screen. So this is the pattern will be, which will be matched and there is the target offset property over here. The target offset means that once the Sequel has uh, found the pattern how far it is going to click from the starting of the pattern for example i can make this plus sign move a little bit to the center over here and i can click apply you can see there are other things like how sensitive this match should be but i'm not going to do anything with those settings right now so we are going to click here and then we are going to type dx now let us run the application. Hmm, 
failed i don't know why let me see i can make it two maybe the application took a little longer to come up yeah so the application was taking a little longer to come up so increasing the weight helped us in this case and after that suppose i want to input some more values like for example this zip text box over here it looks really weird but i am going to click it just like that let me make it bigger all right again i will click here on the image i will go to target offset and i am going to make it a little in the center apply okay and again we can type anything i would copy the type statement from here and i would just make some changes like and save and the last thing which we are going to do is we are going to click a radio button over here so let me bring in another click just like this and let's suppose i say click lender all right save it now i can close the application and i can just run just like that so this is a very simple way to execute these uh, scripts just like that so now you know how you can handle really difficult to handle applications you may also click the calculate button over here that would be again very simple now i believe you can do more than that and you must be thinking all oh, right stop it now <laughs> it's been three four videos yeah okay so now close the bracket just like this and once we do it we want to make sure that this thing is displayed so as we did it in the previous video aws ert assert exists and in the exists i am going to insert an image oops let's take a screenshot sorry my bad and here i am going to bring this thing in just like that now i will save the script and i will close the application and i would run it all right and that awesome yeah it is awesome so one last thing which i want you to know is that you can also close an application which you have opened for example i can say app dot close and i can provide it the name of the application which i want to close for example if i go here if i see this one go to process and here you can see properties and this name of the application can be used to close it if you want to you will have to put it in double quotes something is wrong with my wi-fi i don't know why it keeps coming back up and keeps going away so now like this and i have closed the application so now what will happen that all the scenario will be run and then the application will be closed that's it for the video please put all your suggestions in the comment section below put your questions in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel test automation tv where i post a new video about test automation and programming every thursday and let's become better professionals together. Do share the video with your friends. See you next time around. Bye.